Hello! All of your videos of Vietnam look really exciting. That little basin lake was like beautiful. Wow! It's it's an adventure. You're having adventures. Um, I'm slightly terrified at the idea of you moving to Hanoi and getting a motorbike. Not gonna lie. Maybe don't do that. That would be my suggestion. Um, but that's besides the point. Ema's birthday party was hilarious. There was a belly dancer, and she got people to come up and dance. So first Ema danced, and Ema was delighted to dance. Um, with a friend of hers, a co-worker maybe, I can't remember her name, whatever. Um, and then Arielle and Gabe were brought up to dance, and, uh, they both did not want to, but were goaded into it by the rest of the room, so they belly danced with the belly dance lady, and that, uh, did not necessarily make them happy, but they put on a good show. And then Jason and I were brought up to the, the, the cleared area to dance with the belly dancer. And that was the opposite of fun. It's really not what I wanted to do in front of, uh, all of my mother's friends. But that's fine. Uh, just fine. <laughs> um... And then this morning we did uh, Musemas here at uh, the end of the universe. We all opened presents and ate eggnog bread that Ginny made, and I drank eggnog with brandy, and that was nice. Claire and I drank that. And, uh, oh, I got these cool robot earrings. Let me see if I can get them close enough for you to see. Little robot earrings! Yay! And also, uh, I have noise-canceling headphones! I can wear them at parties? I can wear them when it's loud and frustrating and I don't want to be around people, I can cancel the noise. And with my nice new noise-canceling headphones that Claire and Greg got me and I am so excited. And I got squishables for everybody, so Ginny has a squishable owl and Claire has a crab and Greg has a corgi and I have um my octopus that I have had for like seven years. So now we all have squishables. Those big fuzzy stuffed animals, it's great. Uh, I left all of your tie-dye in Ima Naba's basement. Or rather, before Ima's party, Jason drove me to their house, and I sort of left the duffel bag in the middle of the living room and told Ima what was up at the party. I was like, so, the duffel bag, it's a long story. Can you just put that in the basement or wherever you want it to be? And she said yes. And now it's like 4 p.m. on Sunday, and I've nothing to do. It's pretty great. I'm pretty excited at my lack of uh, plans. And by excited, I mean I have no idea what to do. I don't understand how free time works. I'm not particularly good at sitting around doing nothing. Maybe I'll clean the house. Who knows? I've got the day off! Who even knows? I hope you're still enjoying um, Hanoi, I hope you took video from your cruise. I did look up, um, Halong Bay, and it looks beautiful. Hot dang, you got to spend two days just doing that. That's so great. Videos! Yay! I'm not excited that work starts tomorrow again after a lovely four-day weekend. Work is going to be so stressful. Yay! Let's try not to focus on that. Focus on the rest of my day without uh, obligation and my lack of knowledge of what to do. Yeah, it's my day off with Claire. Claire and I get to do whatever we want because um, Greg and Ginny just left to go down to Ginny's family for a Sunday Christmas dinner. And tomorrow night is dinner with Claire's family. So this afternoon is me and Claire chilling, being homies in our home. Maybe leaving home for adventures, adventures, or like Quizzo or uh, Bluegrass Night nearby. I don't know. I guess we'll find out what happens. So I will have quiet at home adventures. You will have crazy Vietnam adventures, and we'll meet back here and talk about them. Okay, bye.